Don't shock the owl! But that's exactly what I wanna do! Uh. Uh. I hate this level already. Hi, I'm Game Guy! It's time for more Torture Game Guy with Owls, the video game. Also known as uh, Wario Land 2. Um, so, this is the part where I'm riding an owl, I guess, where I have to go through these silly little squares of death. Not the silly little squares of death, you say. I agree. I don't want any part of this. <laughs> but what can you do? Obviously nothing. Is this level going to literally be just flying with the owl? And then pressing a direction and having it not register? Is that what this is going to be? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, so this seems to be a room with a, with a spear guy. He's a spear guy that exists, and there's just a bunch of boxes with coins in them everywhere. And I'm assuming, yeah, I need to carry him all the way down here to get the real prize. The real prize, as it turns out, is a bunch of coins with my face on them. Just like every other day. Um, I don't think I could cheese this by just falling through there, so I'm just gonna have to go the long way. Which really isn't that long, I suppose. It didn't really take me that long to get there. But it is what it is. Instead, I gotta ride more owls. The owl wasn't moving for a second, and I don't really know why. Um, okay, so... Gotta go careful, gotta go careful. It's just the, the secret to the world here. What's in this door? Why do I have this distinct feeling that the treasure is just going to be somewhere obnoxious? I mean, I don't know what tells me this. I'm going to have to come back down this vertical shaft at some point. That much is completely obvious. However, I do get a bunch of coins up here, which is nice, but I've already passed the 200 threshold of, uh, I don't care anymore, Bill, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I care in the sense that it's like, man, it's a Wario game. I gotta explore and look for treasure. That's kind of what the game is about slightly, so I don't know. I don't know, man. Mr. Bubble, go away, all right? I already, I already killed the Bubble King in Atlantis, so, like, go away. I don't need any part of you. All right, all right. Um, so let's see. This is going on. It, it's just literally a big old maze of uh, death squares and me riding an owl through them. It is what it is, I suppose, but um, <laughs> this isn't exactly what I had in mind when I thought, man, factory levels, they're pretty weird. Sometimes you go and do things on conveyor belts. Other times you're flying around with an owl because what? I don't understand. Yeah, there is a door here. All right, let's see. There's a cake dude. Cake dude, I am I am very famished right now. Very famished. You can tell by the fact that I am now purple and fat. Ah, uh, yes. The most delicious of delicacies. The, 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 the cake that makes you fat and purple. All right, so... Is the gimmick here, now I need to not become fat? Is that the gimmick? Um, although, to be honest, I don't really see what becoming fat does to me other than waste my time. Also, all that was in here were coins and such, so... I mean, yeah, it's a nice little, nice little side path that exists. It's, it's kind of neat. This is a small little coin cachet. I think it's pronounced cash, maybe, but I don't, I don't know. It's spelled weird. It's one of those words that's just weird. Like, the word weird. Like, who the heck decided to come up with this I before E except after C stuff when the word weird exists? It's just weird, man. I mean, I know there's other words that don't follow that rule either, which makes that rule just kind of silly if you think about it, but, you know, details. Um, let's see. I see a lot of openings in the wall, and not a single ketchup man anywhere nearby. What even is this? Scary. <laughs> That's what this is. Scary. Um, this level's filled with a ton of money, though, I will say that much, but... Considering I don't really need money at present, it's kind of... 
wasted on me a little bit. I'm not sure what it is um, this, this level expects me to do here. I'm not really sure. And Okay, and that was a side room. I'm going to go ahead and assume that somewhere along the line, one of these pathways will lead me to either the exit or the treasure. Because I'm assuming neither of those are really going to be out in the open. That's just an assumption I am making, but uh, it is something that can be said. Is this where I gotta go? I mean, I am kind of following the arrows, but at the same time, I'm just, I'm wondering I don't know where the treasure is, because I, I don't see it. I see the exit door, but I do not see the treasure proper. Is it up here, maybe? I mean, that would be in character for this game, having the treasure be somewhere not really that far out of the way. Yep, all right. <laughs> I kind of figured, but, you know. Alright, well, this, uh, this level happened. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. That's just kind of a weird level to have, you know? You just fly around in owls all day, and that's the level. That's, that's, that's a level, alright. I almost didn't see you, guy. I looked pretty much everywhere except for where you were until the last second, and then I saw you, and it's... It was happy time. Is that a Metroid? It looks like a Metroid. Metroids aren't blue, unless this one was frozen by an ice beam, in which case, that's just really sad, you know? Metroids don't like ice beams. Like, come on, dude, that's not cool. I mean, I guess it is, if you want to go the pun route, but I'm not trying to. This is a very serious issue, okay? Metroids on a regular basis are plagued by cold all the time by one stupid lady person who keeps shooting them with with beams of solid ice. And it's just a sad day. It's a sad day, man. I don't, I don't have anything else to add to that statement. <laughs> Let's just do the cheese wedge thing and get it over with. Let's just get it over with, you know? I just gotta get it over with. Oh, there's nothing in the middle. Oh, there's something on the side. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, there's something over there. Okay, well, that's obviously the one at this point, but... <laughs> it's... I don't know, you know? That seven could be sneaky. Even though I knew from the point where that upper left corner uh, appeared that it, it wouldn't be the seven, because that was a blank spot instead of anything else. All right, well, I guess I'm doing the finale in this video anyway. Awaiting syrup. Mm. What could she be awaiting? Her demise? I'm alright with that. <laughs> Let's see. How do... How do I do the thing known as fall? That's how I do the thing known as fall. I'm, I'm, I'm not quite understand... Oh, I can kill those guys while in fire run? I, I was expecting to have to, like, kill them through means of, um, uh, the, the other, other things. Although now I'm a little, uh, concerned that I, I messed up, uh, what might be over here. Um, hmm. Hold on. I may be able to salvage this, possibly. If I'm a little bit sneaky and do that, haha! -ha! I have destroyed you from a distance, friend. Now I just have to get to where you once resided, which is gonna be easier said than done, actually. Okay, well I did it. Yay! All that was over here was coins. That was so worth the effort. Yeah! Okay, well, <laughs> I can say that I did it, and that's all that matters in this world. Hi, friend. You exist. Uh, this looks like obvious secret, so I'm gonna go ahead and just partake. Okay. Now that I have, uh, partaked in, uh, the underside world where, uh, all the failures go when they fall, I can move on to the upward world where all the winners thrive. That's just how it goes in Wario Land, I guess. I don't, I don't know what else to say about the matter. There's a coin up there. 
I don't know how to get it, but I can probably find out. There's just a box here. There's just a single box here. It's just there. It exists for reasons beyond your wildest imagination. I don't know what it could entail, but I am now dizzy, I, I guess. Uh, getting back to the water is kind of difficult when your controls are just the best. So thank you for that. Goodbye, box. I hardly knew you. Uh, I, I didn't really know you at all. You just kind of existed, and that was it. The end. You're just kind of sitting there, not really doing nothing. All right, well, these are just free coins hanging out over here. Might as well go ahead and get them. I mean, there's, there's nothing stopping me. This is just kind of a room. You know, there's, there's nothing really going on in here, but okay. I'm a little perplexed by, uh, the layout of this place. Okay, well, I actually need to get sprung to do that. What's up here? There's a door to the left. Oh, I accidentally figured out the puzzle. I was supposed to go in this one so I could even get to the door. Sneaky, sneaky game. I understand your, your, your sneaky ways. I understand. Yeah, and that was even the treasure. Good. Good. I accidentally solved the puzzle. <laughs> I love it when I accidentally solve the puzzle. It makes me feel all sorts of happy inside. I mean, yeah, I suppose it would be more a level of accomplishment if I had actually solved the puzzle instead of just accidentally stumbling upon the solution. But you know what? It kind of has the same effect in a way. I got it, a Game Boy. Yeah! It's, it's, it's a thing that I can obtain. A thing that I would be playing this on if not for the fact that this is Virtual Console, I guess, but... You know, that's just how it goes. I didn't mean to actually get hit by this guy, but I think I actually have to go up here anyway, so... Cause yeah, there's just a, a doorway up here that leads me to the end of the world! The end of the world is, uh, in the ketchup factory. As you might guess, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume, yeah, the, the boss is over here, which means the boss exit is down below somewhere because I see those blocks. All right. All right, Captain Syrup, what's your silly plan this time? Setting me on fire? Of course it is. I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do, but I didn't really get much of a chance to try anything. I mean, I was trying to punch her, but it wasn't really working. Also, this looks all sorts of fun to have to deal with once I, uh... Every time I fail this puzzle... Well, this, this boss, rather. Um, good! I, I'm glad I don't need any money, because by the end of this, I predict I'm going to probably lose a bunch. Even though they give me free money here, which... Is kind of a non-thing, considering, you know, I just... Don't, you're rewarding me for failure, game. This is not something you should do. It's just, it's just not something you should do. All right, well, obviously I need to, like, punch her or something, but... Yeah, I just, I just punch her. I just punch her. Except I don't touch her. That's something you do not do. You don't land on her sparky head, because that's not what you want to do. In this boss, you got to have a little bit more finesse. You know, you got to punch her in the side. You know, just freaking landing on her head is not good enough. This is not a Mario game, contrary to popular belief. See, if it were a Mario game, that that, that W wouldn't be upside down. Or it would, rather. I, I don't know, man. There's a joke here, but I don't know what it is. I have already forgotten. Hey there, Captain Syrup. You're gonna go down this time. I am ready for you. I broke your thing! What are you gonna do about it? Oh no, you got a- you got a weirdo thing. Why do you have a weirdo thing? I don't understand. I need to throw it at you, I guess. Okay, that's not throwing it at you. I probably need to jump and throw it instead of, you know, not. I- I jumped- I did like a short hop instead of a bigger hop. I don't know why, but I did. It was my strategy, you know? STRATEGY! My strategy was giving her a false sense of security so that the next time I would be completely ready to do whatever it is she wants me to do in order to best her in battle. I, that was my strategy for getting past the shovel blade. Getting hit by the other shovel blade in such a way that would bounce me over the other one. And this boss is actually, um, kind of easy. <laughs> 
because there's not a whole lot going on in this first phase. It's just, it's, I guess it's semi-easy to get hit. Alright, so this time let's just throw it up like that. Oh, this, uh, this fight comes in multiple phases. Oh, alright, alright, sure, fine, you're trying to fake me out here, I get it. I understand, you're just, you're just gonna make me do this over and over again, I get it, it's fine, it's, it's whatever, it's whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. I will say, I'm not a huge fan of these boss types, where one failure means you have to start over from the beginning, I, it's never been my favorite thing. I mean, I understand to compensate, these bosses aren't particularly hard or lengthy, so that's that's kind of how they, they, they do it, I suppose. But even so, it's just kind of like, man, <laughs> I shouldn't have to trial and error this so much. I am pretty sure I landed on that, but apparently not, question mark? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just don't know. Dang it. I'm trying to just be quick here, and it's hard to do when uh, the game punishes you for being quick. It's, it's, it's kind of a thing. It's kind of a thing. It is kind of a thing. All right, Syrup. I got your number this time. I got your number this time. It's 36. I don't know why it's 36, but that's what I've been told in my brain that your your number is 36 okay I've, I've figured it out it's the solution to the puzzle the absolute best solution to the puzzle all right see because now i know that your thing's gonna fly above me and then probably swoop back down no do i have to high jump is that the oh well i mean i did it but i i did it bad I'm not sure what the tell is for- Okay, well now it's- it's lower for some reason. I- I don't understand. Alright, well now we gotta do round whatever. Oh, hello. I was not ready for you to do more, I guess. <laughs> Man, this whole trial and error thing is kind of silly, cause, I don't know. It just is. Uh, yes. This is something you probably shouldn't put in your boss exit because it's annoying and I don't like it. <laughs> I've done this part like how many times now? I've already lost count. This is, I, I want to get back to the boss. Why do you have to make me go and do this other little thing first? I don't understand. I mean, I do understand, but at the same time, it's just like, why? Why you gotta do? I don't get it. I don't get it, Syrup Lady! I don't get it! I just wanna bounce on your stupid bomb things and then throw them at your face. Why do you gotta make it so difficult? I don't understand. I don't understand. I need to be more towards the center. Alright. This is the last hit. Alright. <laughs> Like, again, the boss isn't hard, it's just it punishes you for a little bit too difficult. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It punishes you harshly for failure, and it's, it's kind of an annoying in that way. But it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. What are you, Cheese Wedge? What even are you? You could be many things at this point. Still. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess now you're the five, but, you know, eh, for a while there, it could have been the six. It could have been. Actually, I don't know if it could have. Didn't I have the bottom left corner earlier? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. X marks the spot, though. <laughs> Apparently, that that's the thing that I noticed from that. All right. How did I beat Captain Syrup to a pulp this time? By blowing up the ground. See you later, Syrup. Did all the endings just end with Captain Syrup going flying at, like into the background or something? I never even saw the spices down there. How did I get them? <laughs> Whatever, I got them. That's all that matters. Here's a thumbs up just for you, the player. Yeah. 
And now it's time for the credits again. Oh boy! The credits that we've already seen three times now! My favorite! <laughs> to be fair, I like these credits. They, 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 the song is, you know, catchy and whatnot. It's a thing that exists. Gotta carry my spices back home with a, in a logical manner of speaking, I guess. I mean, because how does he hold them like that? That doesn't even make any sense at all. Man, I don't know. At least this makes more sense than the other credits where Wario wasn't even there and it was just a scrolling background. Meanwhile, in the sky... <laughs> I don't know, man. Don't ride the stupid owl. Just, just send him into the shocking square panels. That's all you gotta do. Don't you want some fried chicken? I mean, he's not a chicken, so it wouldn't really be fried chicken, but you can pretend. It's probably illegal to eat an owl. I don't actually know. <laughs> Alright, well. This guy was the programmer. You can tell because it says programmer above his name. That's, that's how I know. I don't know from prior experience or anything. I just, I know because the game told me right then and there. Why exactly do you need to fly with the owl to get back home? I mean, you could have just walked. You, you were doing fine walking before, you know? Hanging from an owl for extended periods could probably get really tiresome on the arm. Let's be perfectly honest here. Yeah, it wouldn't be very fun. It wouldn't be very fun at all. Also, you don't have to swim, Mario. I, I'm pretty sure it's something you don't have to do, but sure, whatever, if it's what you want to do, do your silly little balancing act on your head with the freaking... I don't understand still. I mean, I've seen this action, like, what? Was it in the, uh, the first few credits I saw anyway? I think it was. I don't actually remember. I think the credits have been basically identical, except for the the, the, the middle one that I did. Because, um... Obviously, Wario wasn't there. Instead, it was just those birds again. Those freaking birds. Can't wait to see those again later trying to get my spices from my castle. They can't have it. I know I've said that every time. There they are! There they are! They're there. Trying to get my spices. I can't take it anymore, man. The stupid birds are always after my stuff. I just, I just wish they'd go away. I need to have, like, my anti-bird system activated in my castle. But unfortunately, it broke the other day. And Wario's too lazy to go and hire a repairman. Because, I don't know. When you've got so much money, it's really hard to actually use it. It, you know, it's just not at the top of your to-do list. Let's just be perfectly honest here. You, know, you gotta keep as much money as you can, because you never know when you're gonna need it. You gotta save all the money until the end of your adventure, and then never actually use it at the end of your adventure, because you don't need it. Because the game gives you tons of items along the way that you're gonna go ahead and use at the end anyway. So all of those, uh, all those cash monies that you've earned throughout your travels, they just sit there and rot in your bank account, never to be used. Until a money sink comes along, and it just flushes all down the drain in an instant. The end. <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm saying half the time, but it's all right. You you can... You understand, right? You have to understand. Someone has to, otherwise what's the point of saying it? Man, my stage clear, that's 90%. Man, my treasure, that's 90%. Man, my cheese wedge, that's 90%. I never would have guessed those numbers in a million years, which is why I said them before they appeared on screen. Well, maybe. I don't know. It was kind of timed at the same time. Oh, man, look at all the treasures. Oh, man, look at the cheese witch. Oh, man, look at the map. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, man, look at that. Anyway, next time, I think it's pretty obvious what we're doing. I mean, there's only there's only one path left. I wonder what it could lead to. Probably the last ending. That'll be fun, right? All right, well, <laughs> next time that. So, um... See you later, and uh, goodbye. Yeah.